What in the world could be better than a dust collection system that keeps your tools clean and keeps your air breathable? How about one that turns itself on and off at the appropriate time and even opens the appropriate blast gate associated with the tool that you're using? Hey guys, this is Paul with Toolmetrics and I just added an accessory to my dust collection system that I thought you might want to hear about. It's called the IVAC Pro and essentially what it does is when I walk up to a power tool, turn on that power tool, it sends a signal to the uh, blast gate associated with that power tool, opens it up, leaves it open as long as that tool is running, and then when I shut the tool off it keeps the gate open for a period of time to allow for any uh, remaining dust to be pulled through the system. Simultaneously what it does is it sends a radio frequency signal to the dust collector itself and it turns on the dust collector automatically keeps it running while I'm using that power tool, and then keeps it running for a, a definable period of time after I turn the tool off. Basically what you want to avoid is frequent uh, cycling uh, of short periods of time on the dust collector because apparently that can be bad for the capacitor uh, on the motor. So um, the this components that came with the system are of high quality. The blast gates themselves, the four inch gates, are made of uh, ABS plastic, uh, durable, um, well made. The six inch gates are made of a combination of aluminum and steel, um, also very well made. And uh, so essentially I'll walk you through kind of how it works. Here's how it works. A voltage sensor is installed on the cord of the power tools. The same sensor works the same on 120 volt or 240 volt tools. So all you need is one type of sensor. When it senses that the tool has been turned on, it communicates via wireless signal to the dust collector and the appropriate blast gate for that tool letting them know it's time for action. When you turn the tool off, it again communicates with the dust collector and the blast gate, which turn off and close after a defined period of time. These are programmable via dip switches on the components. If you turn on another tool while the dust collector is running, it just extends the runtime of the dust collector. If you want to automatically or manually override the system, there are switches right in, on the blast gate to open and close the gate, and a remote control can turn on the dust collector as well. To upgrade my dust collector to become part of an automated system, I just had to wire in a magnetic switch controller. It was a straightforward process and the controller tucks back behind the control panel in the dust collector after installation so it's out of the way but easy enough to access if I ever need to. When I first read about the installation process, I thought it would be kind of complicated and in reality as it turned out it was really straightforward. Uh, getting the dip switches set so that all of the tools were uh, programmed with their specific number and getting the uh, magnetic switch controller wired into the dust collector itself. That was all really straightforward. It took about probably three or four hours to get everything set up and synchronized properly and I had a good automated system. The components as I mentioned are very well made. I really like the fact that the electronics are concealed uh, so they're not going to be uh, affected by all the dust in the environment even though the dust collector does a good job of cleaning a lot of the dust out of the environment. There certainly still is some uh, and I didn't want that to affect the electronics. Well I installed this system about a month ago and I wanted to wait a little bit, use it uh, in a couple of actual projects and get a feel for how it affected my woodworking and my workflow before I put this video together to talk about it. And I have to say my experience so far has been even more positive than I expected. Um, first of all because I have never realized how much time I spent opening and closing blast gates or running across the shop to close a blast gate that I forgot to close before I used the next tool. Particularly on a tool like my 18 inch wide planer that uh, really requires the full concentrated airflow of the dust collector and if I have another blast gate open it won't clean up properly after a, a wide board being planed or when I'm using it in drum sander mode. Um, so that's been really positive. The other thing that's been just really great is there's no more just one quick cut without turning on the dust collector. Uh, it used to be that I would do that once in a while, particularly on a miter saw, just one quick cut. I'm not going to bother uh, turning on the dust collector or opening the blast gate. So now that's all done automatically for me. I don't even have to think about and therefore I'm going to have a cleaner shop and cleaner air to breathe. So if you're thinking about taking your dust collection from good to great, the IVAC Pro system is a great way to do it. I'll have a link down in the comments uh, field uh, that'll have a uh, description of where you can get this system if you're interested in taking a look at it. And in the meantime, thanks for watching this video and hope you'll subscribe to the Toolmetrics channel for more woodworking and DIY videos.